today on the Yanmar tractor build we're going to do all the rust repairs on the bonnet and the guard so let's get into it here we go Found a new use for the crane. Someone said it's a tiny dick. Bit of a tight budget on this one. So here's those uh, mud guards I was telling you about. Uh, some nasty big holes there. A few little. Um, Spots that we've got to re repair and replace. While I'm there, I'm just going to weld up these couple of indicator lights. Uh, this is never going to be road registered, so we won't worry about that. Uh, a few little spots out on the corner here. They're going to be a little bit tricky. I might just have to cut that actual piece off and reshape it. Yeah, so it marries up and then cut a little piece along here. So. A little bit in that one. Uh, this one's not as bad on the back end there, but still needs to be replaced. That little piece and a spot on the inner guard there, and some more holes to weld up. So they won't be too hard. It'll probably take me most of the day, but follow along for those. And the bonnet. That's that's going to take me a little bit. So we'll. Uh, Cut those out and maybe put an, a whole piece of skin over the top of there for where the sticker goes. That might be the easier way. And tidy this little piece up. I'm thinking about with the front to replace that all together. I've got some nice LEDs to put in there and they won't fit in those holes. And this is all dented and knocked about, so I might as well just replace that whole piece. You know, see where the screws screw in there. I've got to make the whole base uh, like connecting part to the front of the tractor. Sort of like there where the bonnet actually connects onto the front there where the radiator and everything is. So there's a bit of work involved with that and a couple little pinholes there I might be able to weld them. I'll see how I go. And give it a bit of a scrub up and Get ready for Gary at AMC Restorations. He, he said he's happy to give it a paint job for us. Put a comment below on what colour you think it's going to be. We uh, got a bit of a surprise for you. It's not black. But uh, let's let's get into them. Hey, let's start cutting some steel out of there, out of these little spaces, and uh, put some replacement bits in. Here we go. Thank you. 
Doesn't that look nice? All shiny. You can hardly tell where I've cut it and joined it other than, see this little line here? That's where it wasn't quite uh, level. Like, I mean, the two pieces weren't flat together. But a little smear of uh, body filler will fix that. All got those couple little holes in the middle. I can't really get this dent out because there's a, a fold underneath, uh, like an extra piece of steel, which I can't get. So I may just have to clean them out with a bit of Scotch Brite or something and a bit of body filler as well. So the only thing I'm not quite happy with is this part here, how it doesn't look even all the way along. But a smear of body filler will certainly make short work of that. So it actually kind of looks like it's meant to be there. It's pretty good, except for this little part here. It's not quite right. But that might panel beat out. Gary uh, from AMC said he'd be able to have a fiddle with that. And so that guard's sort of all done. I will scotch bright all the rest. Uh, so the paint will actually stick to it and same with that handle but that one's done something I nearly forgot to show you uh, I quickly did this off camera and it was cracked right down here which which is fine but what I wanted to do and it was originally out hang on let me grab this bit <laughs> It was originally out here and if you remember the first uh, video I'll put the picture up and that you had trouble getting your foot into the uh, foot pedal no you had trouble getting in the machine so what I did uh, to hopefully resolve part of that problem besides widening the step on the tractor was to remove that much because this is where the bolt actually bolts onto the tractor. I don't know what this extra hole was and all this extra steel. So I took all that away and I put a piece of round bar. It's kind of hard to see. Focus, focus. It's that I welded on and put a big heavy washer on the back because there was nothing there. Uh, it was just thin. Uh, the thin sheet metal and this this body this guards only made out of one mil where all the other bolt holes have got an extra layer so and this one was cracked so I thought well maybe it needs an extra so that's what I'm doing uh, so it gives it extra strength and it resolves that problem of trying to get the your boot in there hopefully doesn't look too bad with a little kick in there it looks all fancy it looks like it's meant to be there so this is uh, what it did look like uh, before cutting. So all I've got is uh, the big washer and just bit of rod. So once I actually cut that off, you just weld it on that edge and then put a bit of heat up here where my thumb is and bend it over and weld it on. So, cause this one's got a, a crack in it too. So I'm thinking it's gonna keep cracking if I don't do something with it, with that heavy washer. Once I put this heavy washer down here and weld that on and put that bit of rod there. So anyway, just thought I'd show you that bit I forgot to show you before. So it's an improvement to the guard and adds a bit of strength. So let's get into the other one. Eh? Here we go. So that one's all done, as we just saw. And the front bit's all cut. And I've got this one sort of all uh, ground back and I panel beat it out. There was a big heaps of divots. Divots the right word? It was out of shape anyway. It had a couple of big creases in there. So I've knocked all them out. It's And I've got it marked out where I'm gonna cut some pieces out for rust and everything. So with the magic of uh, the internet and editing and my amazing ability, I'm just gonna click my fingers and it's gonna be done. Here we go. Boom! How's that? That's uh, got to be the quickest welding job I've ever done. Got all nice lines there. That's all joined. Uh, well, we won't talk about this little bit. Bit of body filler. 
got all the dents out of the top here. That was that was pretty bad. And did the majority of all the pinholes all along the back here. They're all done. That's just a little bit of filler to get the ripples out because I had to panel bleed it afterwards. And there was a bit of a ding there, so I sorted that out. And while I was there, I cut the front piece out, you know, the front bit that was went up that way. And gave it the strengthen with the 6mm rounder. So it's all done. Just like that one. So now we've got two guards. There's a lefty and a righty. So anyway, now we've got to get the bonnet done. So let's get into that. Here we go. Make a difference. It, uh, it looks apart. All those little weld holes in there, they're all uh, sand off. They'll be fine. Woohoo! The bonnet works! A little bit of light bracing. It's all really light material, so it won't add weight to the tractor and it'll give it plenty of uh, strength, which is what we need. Done. I'm really happy with that. It's even in the middle. Anyway, so uh, I'll make this little surroundy thing for the two LEDs and I think I'm going to have the grill lower like stepped in so it nearly comes flush with that because if I have it too far out when I do hinge it it'll bash under there so we don't really want that might just make some rubber stops or maybe a couple of short chains or something and pull them back so when it tilts forward it'll only go so far you won't be able to go all the way forward and damage the sheet metal at the front really happy doesn't look much but that's a big step this little old tractor has been sitting here for months and months and wasn't doing anything
plenty of room to work on it now. Once it's connected, if you know what I mean. Okay, well, uh, let's get into making these spotlight surrounds and put a bit of grill action happening. We'll get into that. Here we go. all done and I'm ready to ready to mount some lights uh, some LED lights um, bought a big pack of them you don't just buy one or two you buy ten do you so I've got them for a few other projects but these will be perfect for that instead of those crusty old rectangular dodgy looking things so this come out really nice I really like that round edge, uh, which is really good. Yeah, I kind of really like that. And it looks really good when it's sitting on the tractor. But before I can do any light mounting or cutting out for the lights, uh, I've got to fix a few little rust spots because you'll, you'll see just that edge there, that very edge. And there's a couple of spots here, so... And this piece is just... A, it's just hanging in there so if I take the bonnet off and do these rust repairs before I start mounting that whole sort of I don't know who's that guy from Star Trek what's his name looks like that that really cool guy from Star Trek where he has those glasses across his face so I will take the bonnet off and do a couple of rust repairs so here we go
find out whether you've got any pinholes is put your light on and put your light behind it and any little pinholes you'll be able to be able to see oh look there's two I missed can you see them right there there's one there's one next to it there somewhere tiny pinholes oh mongrels so uh, just when you think you're finished Yeah, so to check for extra little pinholes that I've just found, uh, just put a light under it. It's just going to shine through the holes. So it's only an LED light, and you can see it's gotten a bit hot there. I've put it a bit close a couple of times. Uh, did you like the old uh, stick the bit of brass underneath? There's just an old piece of brass uh, threaded rod, and you hold it underneath, and then you weld through to it because the weld won't stick to the brass. So it just stops the droplets of uh, molten metal falling through. So if you've got pinholes, uh, you can do it from either side. Like I was doing it a little bit from the underside and then I just finished it off from the top side. So I just thought I'd uh, buzz that back so I could see whether there was any more pinholes in that area. So, But it uh, looks all pretty good. And a couple little tiny dings. There. There's a tiny little ding there. A little bit of filler will fix that and uh, that there that's a ding but there was also a rust spot there so I welded the rust spot but I've sort of kept the same profile so when we put a little bit of filler in there so I will buzz back the rest of the bonnet uh, I know there's no more rust in in that part on the top but there's certainly plenty on the sides uh, but what I might do is once I buzz all that back is I'll attach the uh, light uh, bracket if that's what you call it and I'll be welding it on there so it'll be a permanent fixture so I'll weld that on then I'll start attacking the sides like these here they're really really bad so and I'll connect all this in and it'll all blend in once the, sur the light surround sort of comes in so that'll all connect in and look legit so we're getting there then we just got to make the lower part of the grill the bit that the airflow goes through. I'll quickly just buzz that back. I'll speed it up and we'll get into mounting that uh, lights around. Here we go.
So, how does that look? Still got a couple little dents in there. But all the rust repairs done, I re-edged that. Put a new little piece in there. Now I'll put a couple little screws in there that just countersink. Uh, they're not the right screws for it, but uh, I may end up welding that on. Uh, but originally it was bolted on. So it's sort of sitting there in place. I made the uh, brackets up in there for the lights to connect to, which you saw before. And I've added this insert, removed the rust and added this insert, uh, which will look really nice when I put the stickers on. So I would say the bonnet is all done. And the guards are all done. All I gotta do now is do the grill. On the next video, we're going to make this grill, which will sort of be under here. I won't have it all full width. It'll look really funny, I think. So I'll make it so it steps under and goes down. I'm not sure whether it's coming out to the full edge here or it's gonna be underneath. Might just be underneath because it only has to uh, cover the battery just there. Because there's another little shield, you know, a white shield with a little mesh all over it um, that goes there. So, sort of see how that looks. Uh, I'm yet to widen the steps. Uh, I've got brackets for these here for the mug guards to bolt on, the wider ones. And so I've just got to make this step and this bolt on to come wider. It's 55 mil wider on each side. So. I've We'll do that in the next video and we'll take it outside and give it a good gurney uh, while we're waiting for all the sheet metal to get painted and I'll clean up this piece of crud that's uh, I don't know how someone couldn't just grind that off it's not that hard really uh, and we do have to make a fuel tank but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to that in the next video uh, like just doing all this rust repairs uh, that was three and a half days. So anyone says, oh yeah, just a little spot of rust. Yeah, yeah. Five minutes, bomb, bomb. It's not. It takes bloody ages. Anyway, so uh, they're the things that we're going to do. is a bit of a tidy up, do the front grill, uh, widen the steps. That's in the next one. And maybe the fuel tank, but that might be in a different video. So guys, thanks for hanging in there. It's been a bit of a long video. It take me a couple of days to get this far. Uh, so most of the sheet metal is done, but I've uh, got just the grill itself to go and a few other little things which we'll do in the next video. So guys, uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one, eh? See ya.